Welcome into Moving the Chains. I'm Kevin Thomas alongside Jarrell Hendricks. Got a great interview lined up today. Got some very special guests to give us a 2022 season preview of the two-time defending 1A state champion, Southside Christian Sabres. Joined by head coach Mike Sonneborn, heading into his seventh season at the helm. Senior quarterback, Ja'Cory Martin, and senior linebacker, Michael Wright-Woodfield. Coach, how you doing today? Good. Good. We appreciate your time. We really do. This is you guys. First time tuning in. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, at Move and Change. Also, our website, moveandchange.com. Check out Coach and the program for Southside Christian over on Twitter. They do a great job with highlights, so definitely stay up to, up to date with those guys. In 2021, the Sabres won Region 1-1A, went 14-0, and and defeated Bamberg Gearhart 20 to nothing to win their second consecutive 1A state championship. To get it going here, Coach, you know, how was the summer for you guys? How are the 7-on-7s, seven and how has uh, fall camp been so far here? Well, you know, it's typical summer for us. Um, you know, we probably do things maybe a little different than everybody else. We're not you know, we don't do seven on sevens, you know, the tournaments every week, um, you know, we kind of, you know, encourage our guys to kind of, you know, mo maybe go the more camp route, college camp route, things like that. Um, you know, we, we do about, you know, about two, two, two every summer. And uh, we just kind of, we kind of focus on us, worry about us. And, um, you know, and then, like I said, with, with the, you know, typically a lot of our guys with their camp schedules and things like that, we, we kind of defer to that more so than, you know, going to, you know, every seven on seven on the planet. So, Coach, with that being the case for your program, um, how important is it once you get into fall camp and even going back to spring practice in fostering, you know, that camaraderie and, and bringing the new team together for the upcoming season? Sure. You know, obviously it's important. Um, you know, these guys, you know, so many of our guys, um, you know, here at Southside are, are multiple sport athletes. So, you know, for example, you know, Ja'Cory and Mikel, they play football together. They've grown up together. Um, they run track together. So, you know, and so many of our football players uh, are multi-sport athletes, football track and things like that. So, you know, they, you know, when, when we've had the success of playing in in December um, the last couple of years, uh, you know, they basically, we played till December 4th or 5th. And then, you know, January 15th, you know, track kind of starts up again for those guys. And so, you know, they're, they're pretty much together, you know, every day, all day. So, Coach, for people who aren't familiar with your program, maybe haven't seen you guys play, what kind of scheme do you guys like to run on offense and defense, and do you call plays for either side of the ball? Yeah, so I, I call the plays. I get, a, you know, a lot of help. We've got the greatest, uh, great, you know, assistant uh, coaches on that side of the ball. Our offensive line coach has been with me for 16 years. Um, you know, our, our, our wide receivers coach and co-offense coordinator, Jeff Coat, uh, John Jeff Coat, has been with us for seven. Uh, coach Brockman does a great job with the running backs. Um, so, you know, schematically – um, we've probably evolved a little bit in the last couple of years, you know, with Ja'Cory's skill set. So, uh, you know, we, we, you know, some, a lot of quarterback design runs. We moved the pocket, some power read type stuff, um, you know, but really, to be honest with you, from for the last seven years, the, the core playbook really hasn't changed. Um, you know, uh, it's the same girl with just a different dress on, so to speak. Uh, you know, defensively, uh, you know, we've transitioned. We were an even front for, you know, I don't know, four or five seasons and then, you know, as uh, more and more teams have gone to, you know, uh, you know, wide open offenses or, or, you know, pushing the edges more, we've transitioned to, to an even front. Um, and it helps, you know, kind of adjust it a little bit to our personnel. Um, but uh, we've been fortunate to have some really good defensive linemen, you know, here uh, over the past several years. So that's allowed us to play more of an odd front. And so, you know, a lot of too high. We'll play a couple different coverages. But, you know, we're going to squeeze the ball. Um, you know, we're going to we, – we try to – we're not real fancy. Um, you know, we're not, we're, it's, you know, we're going to line up right. We're going to play our assignment football and, 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 you know, we're, we're really going to, you know, run the football, tackle the football, like a lot of teams do. So coach, we have the pleasure of speaking with Ja'Cory and, and Mikel here in a little bit. Uh, but you know, we, we know what they can do on the field. Um, who are some guys you have coming back? Um, who should we be looking out for? And, um, you know, who are maybe some other leaders outside of those two? Sure. Uh, you know, uh, our, we've got a Colin, you know, Colin Phillips is coming back. You know, he was our leading receiver last year. Uh, you know, he's a guy that's really made a lot of strides uh, from his junior to his senior year. He's really, really become a kind of a reliable, um, you know, you know, kind of slot receiver, but he has the ability to kind of, you know, ping pong from the inside to the outside. Um, you know, uh, we've got, uh, you know, a couple, two off, two starting offensive linemen back, Trey Owens, I'm sorry, Will Owens, uh, Trey Dowling, um, you know, we got a good young running back in Kyler Zimmerman. He's a sophomore and he's a 190 pound sophomore who's, who, you know, we feel really good about, um, you know, on the other side of the ball, um, you know, Zach Martin, Ja'Cory's, I'd say little brother, 
Um, but uh, he's 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 a lot bigger than Jacory. He's been uh, he started for us as a freshman, you know, at Mike on a pretty good defense. So uh, he's back for a sophomore campaign. He's got some good things going for him. Uh, a couple guys back, um, you know, uh, we've got you know a lot of guys up from the JV team that was a really good JV team last year. Uh, Mike McGowan, um, you know, uh, you know, Luke Kluth, he's coming back for his junior year, or I'm sorry, his senior year. But we got a good, you know, good host of guys. Uh, uh, we got a good sophomore class, um, you know, a good junior class, and then we've got a good nucleus of, of seniors, uh, you know, back from coming back for their senior year off last year's team. You guys have a really solid out-of-region schedule, starting off with a couple out-of-state schools in Commerce and Charlotte Christian. And you're playing a game that I'm really excited about against Abbeville here in a few weeks as well. You know, was that kind of tough out-of-region schedule, just kind of a, a strategy to kind of get you guys ready for the playoffs and for, you know, conference play down the road? Or how do those games kind of come about? Uh, you know, we, we've always played Abbeville. We played Abbeville 16, 17, 18, and 19. And, uh, you know, we've played them in the third and fourth round of the playoffs. And it's always been, you know, um, you know, a slugfest between us two. And, um, you know, in 2020 with COVID and all that, uh, you know, the schedules kind of got wonky for everybody, you know, across the state. And then, uh, you know, we finally, uh, Jamie's a good a, a friend of mine and a good football coach. And, uh, you know, we kind of talked about it when the opportunity came back, you know, came back out of the cycle that we definitely would get back together. Uh, you know, Charlotte Christian's a program that, you know, I've got a lot of respect for personally. Um, you know, they've won, I don't know, six out of the last eight state championships in North Carolina. Uh, so that, that's a really, really good uh, test for us, a program for us. And then Commerce, Georgia, um, you know, we just kind of, there wasn't, it just kind of organically happened, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we had, uh, you know, some people drop out of the, the, the week zero spot for us. And, uh, you know, we were kind of looking for maybe a specific type of team to play. And, uh, but no, we're, we're definitely those first three weeks, um, you know, we're, we're, we're in it. Well, coach, um, looking at that schedule too, I know you guys are, are 1A, uh, being in Greenville County and in the upstate in general, there's not a lot of, you know, schools in that classification, the 2A classification. Um, is it difficult finding opponents um, um, for your schedules? Um, not yes. just the region, but, <laughs> how to, you know, that's yes. a long-winded way to ask, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, and I, I do, you know, I understand both sides of it. Um, you know, uh, yes, to answer your question um, in, a, in a very politically correct way. Um, yes, it's it's hard for us to fill some of those games. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, it's um, I understand it. You know, I, I, I understand the, the dynamics of it. And some of the regions now are bigger, and, and, you know, and some of the higher classifications. So, yeah, we do have to extend our, our net a little bit wider. Uh, you know, to find some games and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, we, we feel like, um, you know, going to Abbeville is, uh, is, is going to be a, it's a tough environment to play in. Uh, you know, they, uh, they love their Panthers over there. And uh, so it's, 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 a, it's not a uh, warm environment for the visiting team. But, um, you know, like I said, we want to put ourselves in, in, in situations where, you know, our back's up against the wall and, and, and you know, kind of leave the comforts of home a little bit. With that recent realignment, this happened going into this year. A couple of new schools did drop down from 2A to 1A in you guys' region in Christchurch and St. Joe's. How cool is that to get to kind of play some, you know, more local schools for kind of that region title in the area? You know, yeah, it's great. Uh, you know, when I first got here in 15, uh, all those schools were in our region from 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I think it was. And then uh, when the regions changed, um, you know, it, for whatever reason, the scheduling didn't work out. And, uh, but it, I think it's important for our schools to play each other. And, um, you know, I, I think it's good. It's they're close games, obviously the good, they're good gates. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and there's a, there's a lot of pride between the schools. And the, the funny thing is, is a lot of our students know their st students and, and parents, a lot of them know each other. So, um, you know, the, the, the parents definitely, um, you know, there's, a, there's a lot at stake for them too. And, and, you know, not just in football and all sports and stuff like that, but, you know, we've actually we've actually never stopped playing them in a lot of the other sports. It was just football because of the scheduling cycles and things like that. That um, you know, just just kind of the stars kind of aligned for us this year. Kevin mentioned in the intro that you guys were the two-time state defending champions. Uh, just had a dominating performance against Bamberg in that final. Uh, Coach, how do you keep complacency out of your program and keep your your kids motivated and hungry? That's a, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I, I've said this before, you know, um, 
you know, winning's hard, but um, maintaining winning's even harder. Um, you know, so it, it's, you know, they're kids. They're, they're at the end of the day, they're 16, 17, and eight year old kids. So, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, it, it, we try to appeal on uh, kind of press the pride button a little bit, you know, as far as, you know, hey, you know, to be honest with you, nobody cares about last year. You know, uh, they just don't, it, it doesn't. You know, you're only as good as, you know, a lot of times you're only as good as the, the last Friday night. Um, but uh, I think it's just, you know, I think a lot of it kind of falls on leadership, uh, you know, and, it, and it's it's not even so much, you know, leadership on my end or our assistant coaches. It really it's, it really comes from guys like Ja'Cory and Mikel and those type of guys because, you know, uh, we had a good, a really good class last year of seniors, you know, um, you know, about 95% of them were, were, were you know, uh, starters or contributors, you know, in a major way. So I think just kind of, you know, carrying the, carrying the, the, the mantle, so to speak, you know, and trying to appeal to that. But, you know, anytime you get a, a, a young group of guys and we're a younger team this year, um, but anytime you kind of get a young group of guys, um, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, a learning process and, and, a, and a, you know, a, a maturation process that's going to take place. And, um, you know, I guess getting them to understand that there's a responsibility when you play here, you know, to play the game the right way, to play it, you know, physical and to play it with a lot of pride. Awesome. Well, Coach, I think that's all I got for you. Love to talk to DeCorey and, and Mikel if they're, uh, if they're free here as well. I appreciate those perfect. Uh, good answers. I'm going to I'm gonna turn the uh, computer around and they're sitting right across from me. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. This interview is brought to you by Secured Advantage Federal Credit Union. Secured Advantage has a clear purpose to improve the financial lives of its members. Join today at securedadvantagefcu.com. Secured Advantage Federal Credit Union. Win at banking, thrive at life, member NCUA. So we're now joined by senior quarterback Ja'Cory Martin and senior linebacker Mikael Wright-Woodfield. Guys, you're both getting ready to head into your season or senior season. Coach kind of hit on this a minute ago. You know, how is recruiting going for you guys? Or did y'all have a busy summer going to camps and things like that? Yeah, it's going pretty good. Can't complain. Just saying, you know, more call those looks. So who are you guys interested in right now, and, and what camps did you attend over the summer? Uh, right now, I'm not interested in any. Uh, Presbyterian and Limestone, they both offer me in a, like late, 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 um, no, early June. And the camps I attended was Limestone, Anderson, and um, Lord Greenwood. Me, I'm interested in anybody who's interested in me. And okay. the camps. The counts I attended was South Carolina, Wake Forest, and Anderson. So, Jacoby, for some guys who haven't seen you play, like, what do you kind of say your style is as a quarterback? And then are there any guys you kind of try to model your game after that you like watching, really, maybe at the collegiate or pro level? Mm, I'll say my game is fun to watch because I can do a lot. And I'll model myself after – say Lamar Jackson. <laughs> I like that, man. Being fun to watch is always a big plus. Uh, so, so, same question to you, Mikael. Any guys you like to watch? And then kind of what is your style on the field, you feel like? I feel like I play like Luke Keekley because I know how, like, I can read the offensive plays. I know how to shoot my gaps right, read pulls, read down blocks, zone blocks, all that stuff, getting a good pass coverages and fit my holes perfectly. Yes. So, Ja'Cory and Mikael, I asked your, your coach this a little while ago. You guys are two-time uh, defending champions in the state in 1A. Uh, you guys are leaders of the team. How difficult is it to motivate the younger guys and the rest of your teammates uh, to keep attaining those levels of success? Yeah. Um, I would say we'll try, we try to make sure everybody know what they're doing. Instead of thinking about, like, what we did in the past years, we can, like, see them say, seeing that they can accomplish the same thing that we accomplished the last two years so they can be a, a part the same thing we as a part of. So, Mikel, you and Jacoy were just recently named the uh, the flag bearers for 2022. For our listeners out there who don't really know what that means, can you kind of explain to them what that is and what that means to Southside Christian? So, the flag bearers is we the ones that walk out with the flags pregame. We um, lead the team out with our tunnel. Basically means having the best hard work, leadership, characteristic of a leader, and it's passed down by previous seniors. And Ja'Cory, how important is it to be a flag bearer for your team? That's really important, especially coming from them. Like, it's been a tradition here, so I feel like it's a big step, seeing that they believed in me too. And then I get to pass it down to the next person that's hardworking, got good leadership, and a good character. 
So you guys, I mean, y'all haven't lost going back three seasons back to the 2019 playoffs in 20 and uh, back when you were in 2A. Do y'all ever think about that number like, hey, let's get it to 30 or 40? Like, do y'all have – does that ever cross your mind that, man, we've won a, a ton of football games here in a row? Yeah, our goal for this season is to keep it like that and try not to lose. It's not going to be easy, but we got to keep our foot on the gas, make sure we do good this year. Corey and Mikkel, I am from Greenville as well. You guys play at Southside Christian. You guys kind of get overshadowed, but you, you guys put in a lot of work. Uh, what's it like being a dominant program from Greenville County and not getting the recognition that you, you kind of deserve? I mean, honestly, I don't really pay no attention because I know so colleges can find you no matter where you at. So getting the recognition really don't really matter to me that much. Because I know that if you put us against any team in Greenville County, we at least give them a dog fight anything. Now, do you yeah. guys go back and forth with kids from other schools in the upstate? Oh, all, all the time. time. All, 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 all the time. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned, I know last year you guys got a, a late scheduled game against Greer. You, you took them down. I mean, you guys are scared to play no one. Y'all can play with anyone for sure. Um, so, a couple easier ones here. You know, Drell and I get a little bit older, man. Like, like what's on the pregame play playlist for you guys these days? <laughs> well, it. You said, man, my pregame playlist, I'm probably going with some young boy. Okay. Um, and then you got to put some little baby in there. So my two. Right? <laughs> and then, hold on, I got one more. You know, you got to add some old Chief Keith in there now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Chief Keith. Okay. <laughs> That's some love Sosa. Okay. That'll get you right. Hey, <laughs> Mikel, what no. you got? You, you listen to the same things? Uh, same things, but I probably like Pooh Shiesty, probably Big 30. Big okay. Star, probably like the, probably yeah, I'm like too old to be listening to Pooh Shiesty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me in the dentist mentality. Nice. Awesome, too. And then, uh, you know, we one of our things that we like to ask, we like to eat. So, where are you guys going after a game on Friday or maybe on Saturday after you, you watch some film and stuff like that? Where are you guys going to eat in Greenville? You cook out, cook out a waffle. Okay. <laughs> you know, a waffle house. <laughs> yeah. All right, I need some, a popular answer. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, I need I need the waffle house order, and I need what milkshake you're getting at cookout. My waffle house order, I get that all star meal, <laughs> and then the milkshake from cookout. I think I get like I don't know what I get. I don't really get the milkshake, but if I do, I get like an Oreo one. Okay. okay. The Waffle House order has to be a Texas bacon cheesesteak belt with okay. no onions, with double covered hash browns. And my cookout, they'll say, I don't like ice cream like that, so I'll go with a straight vanilla. The straight vanilla okay. Love it. Love it. Okay. Last one here, guys. A little more serious. You know, do y'all have any individual and team goals you've already set up for 2022? Team goal is get a three P. Individual goal try to finish my last year without losing a game. Yeah, the team goal is to try to be a better leader, lead my teammates, get them in the right spots, and like Josh said, get a three-peat. Individual goals, try my best to lead the team in tackles again, and uh, do my part, make sure my team is straight. Awesome, awesome. Well, this has been great. Definitely appreciate you guys' time. We're looking forward to checking y'all out this season. Uh, for all the viewers out there, if this is your first time checking us out, be sure to follow Mikel and Jacory and Coach Sonneborn in the program on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram. They do a great job with, with the, uh, you know, stats and highlights, things like that. Also check us out, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Move and Change. Drew, anything else for the guys before we let them go tonight? No, man, y'all are fun to watch. Y'all keep doing what you're supposed to do. Coach Sonneborn, you know, you're doing a fantastic job with that program. Uh, Appreciate it, course, guys. Yeah, Jacory and Mikel, you guys just keep leading team you know keep putting on for greenville county because you know our, we can't we can't win many state championships but y'all y'all keep keep doing your thing yes sir well co coach since you're here what's on your pre-game pre playlist too let us know that <laughs> uh i'll be honest with you i had i don't have any clue who those guys were <laughs> <laughs> uh, my pre-game playlist is probably uh i don't know i'm a talk radio guy <laughs> okay um okay. you know maybe maybe a little kenny chesney okay okay uh, but I, i'm I'm not a, not a real adventurous guy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty routine, and uh, you know, I guess my routine before games is, you know, once everything's done, I kind of close my office door and just kind of, you know, get my mind right and and uh, take my blood pressure medicine. <laughs> so I love, well, it. I love it. Well, hopefully.
the uh, Jacory and Mikhail can get you on that young boy and and uh, <laughs> I, I want to see. I want to see a locker room video or something. There we go. Hey. There we go. Well, guys, we really do appreciate it. Uh, look forward to stopping by and seeing you guys at a game this year. And uh, best of luck this season. Hey guys, thanks for having us on. Thank you.